In this video, I'm going to explain the basic principles of macro recording that you can then apply to trick shot combinations or just ease of access with regards to the commands that you've recently put in your console on these PC clients. That is the most niche thing I've ever said. There's probably two people who actually want to know what I'm talking about. I will also provide some examples of how I changed my POV in that S1X third person trick shotting video and what I like to do to easily change my FPS around when I'm streaming. I'm sure there's much smarter people out there who could then use these principles to do really cool class change binds or probably even freaking knacks. So no, I don't uh, hope I'm not enabling people faking knacks, but whatever. I hope you enjoy. If you wouldn't mind subscribing down below, I'm trying to hit 2,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Please leave a like on the video and let's get into it. Oh, hello, cat. Ivy says hi. Hello. Basically, I'm going to launch up IQ. Now, IQ is what I use because I have a Corsair keyboard and I can control the macro keys, the LEDs or whatever stuff from this software. There's tons of other macro free software out there that you can use to just bind keys to whatever keyboards you have. But for me, since it's quick and easy for me, I can just use IQ. Uh, Corsair is a really popular brand that does this. Um, Razer does too for their keyboard series. I'm not too familiar with the Razer, but I definitely know that they've got their uh, RGB control software and you can definitely set up macros there too, 99% sure. But here we're in IQ and I'm going to click my keyboard. I'm going to go to key assignments and now here is where you can assign some keys. So this is my keyboard that I'm looking in front of me. And I've got these macro keys right there. They're keys that don't do anything until you assign something to them. As you can see, this is my last and does console have an E at the end of it? Hey Siri, how do you spell console? Yeah, there's there's definitely an E there. Uh, that's embarrassing. All right, so this is my macro that I currently use on my G6 key of how I go and select the most recent command I put in the console. So if you saw my third person trick shotting on S1X video, you saw me like going for a trick shot, I press this button and the camera view would switch. And it's because the last two um, commands that I put in the console were, you know, changing my camera view. And you can do that with FPS or really whatever. So we're going to make a new key right here, a new assignment. Let's rename it last, oh, last in console two. And I'm going to bind it to my G5. I'm going to click keyboard here. I'm going to bind it to G5. So I'm going to have this G5 pop up here and it's going to be right there. I'm going to go down here and click macro. And so when you have a macro, basically what a macro is is that you can go and record, you know, whatever you want. And uh, for me, I only really want to record the key events and the delays. I don't care about the mouse clicks or the scrolling or anything. Uh, really don't even need to do delays, but I'm keeping the delay just in case that uh, the macro moves too fast that the console and the PC client can't keep up. So we're going to keep that on advanced. Just make sure that you've got no repeat on the action and you trigger it on the key press. And yeah, so watch this. So if you had a two commands in your console and you were trying to switch easily between the last two ones, such as the FOV in you know, the, third, the, the third person AW video, or your FPS, and you would want to press the console button, which is the, the tilde button, this one right here, then you would go up twice, you'd press the up arrow twice, you would press enter, and then you would press tilde again, because you're, you know, you're selecting the most recent one out of the list of commands you've written. So watch this, I'm gonna go record, tilde, up, up, enter, tilde. All right, that was a bit slow, so let's do it again, but a little bit faster. All right, so let's do that again, just a little bit faster. Record, one, two, three, four, five, stop recording. Now, there we go, so now we can see here all the events that we did. So we pressed down on, you can see right there, pressed down on the tilde key. 112 milliseconds later, we released it. And then there's the last thing. And what's cool actually, looks like they fixed it, is that they used to actually, the macro would actually record clicking the stop recording button, which is really annoying because then you'd have to go down here and delete the last two uh, clicks. But fortunately, we weren't recording mouse clicks. So all we got were the key presses. So there we go. So let's go and hop into a game real quick. All right guys, so I'm now in S1X. The first one I got to enable the cheats, SV underscore cheats one. And now I'm gonna write slash forward slash camera underscore third person zero, which you know, don't be in third person. I'm gonna do it again with one. And so now I'm gonna be in third person here. 
I've had a lot of people say that the commands that they see me doing on stream or in videos don't work for them. Under uh, forward slash uh, sv uh, underscore cheats one. You gotta enable the those those cheats. All right. So now, if you see, if I do tilde, if I do what we did in the macro, one, two, three, four, five. Now I'm in third person. So that that this 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 kind of thing is what we've automated. So if I press G5 now, it does it for me. I just press one button. Boop. And now I'm switched. So that's what you saw me doing on that third person trick shotting video. Now let's do some more stuff with this. So let's say I do this a lot on ghosts. I actually bind bind FPSs to my my keys for like MW2, and I think I can do it on MW3, but it doesn't work on ghosts for some reason. So what I have to do on ghosts is I have to manually do the FPSs I want. So let's say that I was wanting to trick shot uh, on 100 FPS to try to maybe hit a bounce or something like that. And let's say I also had 60 recorded, which is like the default easiest to knack, stuff like that. So now I'm playing at 60 FPS. I'm not able to hit the bounce because my FPS is not high enough. Ugh, let me switch to 100. Oh, now I can go, now I can do, you know, 100 FPS and blah, 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 blah. Maybe, maybe now I'm, I'm getting frame drops. Oh, okay, I'll switch back to 60 and trick shot at 60. So basically that's what it is. It's just switching between the most recent command that you put in your console. And all these PC clients have consoles. 99% sure again, so you can get real creative with this and just you know <laughs> I've got an auto clicker for for uh, Minecraft for automatic farms where I just press a key and I can just sit there and I'll Swing my sword and it'll let fully charge up and I can just sit there while I eat lunch I come back and have like a stack of ender pearls or something like that You know what I mean? So you can get really creative with these um, with these macros. Hello everybody It is future mayonnaise in here. I wanted to try actually a few more things to give you some more ideas This is actually I've actually not tested this so let's actually figure this out together. So I want a new macro This is gonna be I'm just gonna call it IMS glitch and so you know how when I want to get two maniacs in a IMS to be able to do the glitch I want to do all that at the press of a button. So let me say I want this to be number, say number, say number two. Uh, I guess at first I've got to click keyboard here and I want the key to be G2 here. And we want it to be a macro. Go into advanced here. Let's, um, let's, uh, do we want, let's actually try this without the delays. Let's see if we can make it go fast. It looks like we lost the, the selection there. So. For me, I have give IMS, I've got give, uh, give jug bound to my I key, and I've got my IMS bound to my O key. So I would have to go Z, uh, O, I, I to get the kill streaks I want. So that's three whole buttons that I'm trying to eliminate the need to press. So I'm gonna do that. Go bum, 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 and that's it. So there it goes, zero, I, I, twice, the press and release. So there we go, and we'll call this uh, IMS glitch. And then let's make another one here, and we'll call this one Maniac Ladder. And we're gonna create a macro, and let's bind this one to G3. And, uh, yep, I just wanna record, and I want, let's say 22 <laughs> Maniacs, which for me is I, so. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Stop recording. 44. Press and release. Yep, 22 times 2 is 44. So there we go. And uh, we've got that bound to G3. So let's see, IMS is G2 and that is G3. I'm going to have to try to remember that. All right, so we are now in a game of IW6X. And you see I have no kill streaks right now. I'm going to press G2, which we bound to the two maniacs and one IMS. So I'm going to press that. All right, it looks like I was given some stuff here. How many maniacs do I have? I've got two maniacs, so I could do the maniac glitch. And there's my IMS where I could come and place it. All from the press of the button, I've got the exact order of kill streaks that I need. All right, let's see if the other ones, if the other uh, macro worked. Oh gosh, these bots are killing me. Let me get the last real quick. All right, so it looks like I'm a, I'm at last and the bots can't kill me. So if I press G3, I should be given 21 maniacs. Oh snap, okay, I press the button, and dang, it looks like I got all those maniacs, so that's like a one press solution to getting a bunch of maniacs that I need to do my ladder. That is really cool that that works, and there's more content for the video. Hope you all enjoyed, now I'm actually gonna end the video, I hope you enjoyed, see y'all later. <laughs>